I also have a couple other suggestions. We're going to talk about one great alternative, if you're not ready for a tummy tuck, is what we call smart liposuction. And five days ago, we sent Amanda to have this cutting edge procedure performed. I'm just experiencing a different body than I had before. Amanda is a great candidate for smart liposuction because she's gone through a pregnancy, she's had some weight changes, but she has relatively good skin. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, good. <laughs> Hi Amanda, how are you doing? Good. There's going to be five incisions under local anesthesia and that's going to expand the fatty layer and that's going to allow a wet environment for which I can do the smart lipo. And we're going to be using a thermal camera that will allow us to bring up the skin to a certain temperature that will allow collagen shrinking. I'm going to measure five centimeter grids. Okay, so this the fiber optic is where the heat will be generated. There it is, look at that. Look at the perfect grid. The actual suctioning portion of the procedure, that's the final step. You're doing great, Amanda. I'm very surprised that it's not very painful at all. Here is the untreated areas, and then this is the treated area. Amanda, I think you're going to really love these results. Hey, okay? I'm very happy about that. Amanda's here with her doctor, Christine Petty, just days after having the smart lipo procedure. She's still a little bit swollen, but the bandages today, I believe, are ready to come off, right? We're going to do the unveiling today, well, yes. Welcome right. to you, too. Good Thanks to see you. My, my colleague, plastic surgeon, here in Southern California. And Amanda, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little about this new procedure. And this is a little different. You and I, we started doing liposuction in its infancy back in the 80s. It's come a long way. Smart liposuction, which is an innovative technique that actually uses laser technology. And the laser technology not only melts fat, but it also tightens the skin. And that's always been the dilemma with liposuction is what do we do with the skin? So we have an answer now. This is what we use, and because it's so small, we're able to actually do this under local anesthesia. I so saw she that was in awake. the picture. Yes. How and, was that? Uh, that? That was an interesting experience, being awake during the whole thing, um, but luckily I was in a minimal amount of discomfort. You know, and that makes a big difference if you can avoid general anesthesia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know we're going to do the unveiling. Right. But she still has a ways with the swelling, right? Well, smart lipo, what's great about it is it melts the fat, but it also coagulates blood vessels. The laser coagulates the blood vessels so there's less bruising, less swelling. So over a period of weeks, she will recover, and then her final result really can be judged at about three months right. to six months. Let's take a look the way Amanda looked before Absolutely. we started, okay? We're going to do an unveiling. There you go. That's Amanda from the front. So is everyone excited to see? <laughs> You removed over two liters of fats, which translated out to about... 2,400 cc's, which is almost two and a half liters. So let's look at the before and after side by side, because it's a pretty significant difference. The biggest thing that you see, you would expect there are a lot of loose hanging skin, and she just doesn't have that. Now she has stretch marks here, so this is, gonna, this is a loud retraction of that skin, right. which is great. Well, thank you so much, Amanda. Good luck. Thank you. Coming up, find out when and if you need to worry about